Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be explaining physics, more specifically mass and max load for building. So now, when you're looking at items in your inventory, they should all say the mass and the max load of the blocks. Now some of them you won't be able to see in the regular game, but I can demonstrate them here today for you. So for the wood frames, the max load is 24 and mass is 4. Basically what this means is that any unsupported blocks on the side of it, it can only hold up to 24. So for wood frames, that would be 6. And for wood, uh, that would also be 6. 36 divided by 6 equals 6. And metal trussing is 320 by 20. And that's the same for all metal objects or metal blocks. So as a demonstration, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, if I were to place one more block anywhere here, all of them would fall. So, when you're dealing with max load and mass, that applies to each side of the block in separate. So each side of this can hold six more wood frames. And it's the exact same for the filled in wood that you would make from uh, upgrading the wood frames there. So now if you try and mix objects, it will calculate on either the lowest max load or the block that you're placing. So this one is still going to allow me six. And for metal trussing, the maximum you can put is actually 15. Uh, it's not 16, unfortunately, but something funny happens at the end. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if you were to build 15 out, the last one just falls. That happens on all the sides there. If you were to place it one block before, um, it will stay, and any blocks after that would fall. If I were to continue placing blocks on this, the whole thing would actually fall. Like so. So. You could do this even with these pillars here, which doesn't look that good, but uh, it is what it is. So, and the same thing happens for all metal objects. Now, you don't want to build 15 out unsupported because, well, if one of your supports goes down, then your a lot of your structure will go down as well. But when you're building with metal, you actually can't walk on anything more than 8 blocks without it falling down. See, so these pillars are 10 blocks apart. So that one is the 8th. So that's important to know when you're building structures. Now I could have put a support underneath it. And if I were to walk on this now, it would be fine. And then there's concrete. Concrete has a max load of 110 and a mass of 15. So really you can only place 7 unsupported blocks. And anything after that, it acts just like the wood does. The whole thing falls down. So another question I had was whether or not height would make a difference. And as you can see by this structure here, it actually does not make a difference at all. But the same rules apply. If I were to walk on this, to go 8 blocks over, 
and most of this would collapse. I'm not going to do that now as it will kill me. <laughs> I've tried it before. So, but there is another interesting point that I want to bring up is if you have like say a metal trussing as your support here now it says 320 is the max load but if I wanted to build with another material like I said before it would take the weaker one into account so 4, 5, and 6 this one would act as if the wood was the support so if I put one more everything falls so what you can do to get around that is to have a layer of the metal trussing here now theoretically this one here is 10 blocks in between the supports so 12 blocks total now if you were to try to build a square with 10 blocks the whole inside would collapse and that's not very fun most bases are not built in a straight line so what I did over here is I did it with 8 blocks in between so 10 blocks total and you're able to fill it in if you don't like the look of the metal trussing that is however if you like the look of the metal trussing you'd probably be able to get away with 12 squared and I also tested it out with concrete you can actually fill it in with concrete and the whole structure stays so if you wanted to build something like this, you would just create your support beam and then eight blocks out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then after that block would be another support beam and you could layer it with wood or concrete. Now I wouldn't suggest any other material really because if you're going to build with metal you might as well just have one layer of metal versus three that I have here so yeah that was that there and another little interesting thing about the metal is you could theoretically use it as a weapon if you know if you had a little pit there and some zombies fell down you could use these scrap metal piles and drop them on their heads and it's actually pretty effective but it's <laughs> a waste of resources if you ask me so yes and here is another little test that I did and we seen that concrete has the max load of 110 so 2 4 6 8 10 this is a hundred mass right here because each one of these metal trussings is 20. So if I add one more, it takes in the concrete's max load instead of the metal trussing. And I forgot to mention one thing. When dealing with mass and max load, it takes into account the blocks that you place in weird ways. Let me demonstrate here. So, as I showed before, wood frames can hold up to six blocks so three four five and six so it takes into account every block that you place that is unsupported so if I were to add one more it all collapses and that's about it I hope that helps everybody with better base building and if you liked the video, please press that like button there and subscribe for more awesome tutorials daily. Bye bye.